What's up, heroes? I'm a rising hero, and guys, welcome back to Terraria. Um, guys, let me explain something. Okay, guys, we are back in. Sorry about that. I was being messaged. Um, but yes, guys, in this episode, actually, before I explain, before I explain what we're gonna do in this episode, let me explain. Um, first of all, as you can see, okay, I went to a server. Me and me and um, Cecil were on a server and all, everything, and someone just started giving me loot. Now, I didn't want to take all the hard mode loot, so I gave it literally all to him, and, uh, the only thing I wanted to keep is this, Summons a Magical Fairy, because I've made this before. However, because we are not in hard mode, we are not using it until we beat the Wall of Flesh. Basically, for those who want to know, it just summons a fairy, it doesn't do any damage or anything, it's just for show. But we're not going to be using that, because I'm not going to cheat, but, I was given it, I was given it. If you guys actually, for those who are out there, don't want me to use it at all, I will go ahead and... Um, not even use it. I will just delete it. So, let, let me know. Let me know, guys, what you think of that. Um, then there, I guess. So, guys, let me explain what we're going to do in this episode. In this episode, and as you can see, um, everything is high-tiered to its... This is super, super expensive to get to high-tiered. Um, legendary, masterful, unreal. This does a stupid amount of damage, by the way. Uh, but yes, guys, um, in this episode... Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm dumb. I need to wait. Let me explain one last thing. First of all, um, yeah, her, we got her to spawn there. The party girl spawned right before I started recording. As you guys can see. Also, I bought this from her and I bought that from her. The bubble machine you just saw was over there. Um, this is the fountain. Look at this, guys. It's really cool. Look at that. Causes a wee bit of lag sometimes, but for the most part, it's cool, and that's the bubble machine right there. Now, now let me explain um, what we need to do in this episode. So first of all, let me go grab money, because in this episode, we're going to be basically making a defense grid around our house, because uh, hard mode is going to get so hard for us that we're going to need our house to fight for us, believe it or not, while we're in here. Because we are on the we are on the edge of hard mode. We're we're all we need to do is kill the wall of flesh. And I have not prepared a thing for that yet, but we will eventually. Also, flame ring, cool too, cool. Let me turn this back real quick. Sorry about that. Okay, let me go grab some money first. Oh, I need to fight some more bosses. I've been running through my money pretty quickly for reforging everything. Here we go. Okay, so which color wrench? I'm gonna go blue wrench because blue's my favorite color. Wire cutter, definitely. Um, lever or a switch? Lever or switch? I'm thinking. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna think switch. Last time I did lever. Which wasn't too bad. Let's do switch. Buy two switches. And then let's buy like a hundred wire. Actually, a little more. Let me. Let me buy 200. Okay, yeah, that's a good number. Okay, rest the money in the uh, thing. Golden coin. Set there. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna kill some more bosses off camera. Build our money back up again. Okay. So, I think now, let me explain. So, first of all, how to defend it is this is the reason why every episode, almost every episode, we've been gathering dart traps. We're going to fire arrows at our enemies. Now, um, hmm. eventually I'm gonna have like something like that over here. What I very well may do is... Hmm. I need to really think, where do the enemies really come from? Is it here? They don't really come from here. It's usually the other side. For the most part. So let's, um, the first thing we need to do is we need to place this down where we need it. Uh, let's cut down this tree. We need to clear the land quite a bit here. Actually, you know what we could do? We should make a pit. 
for them to fall into. Nice. Perfect. That actually worked out really well. Let me break this part. We may actually kind of make like a little mini note. Okay, we're almost... Almost there. Okay. Yeah, look at this guys. Fill in the pit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is looking really nice and deep. You see how deep we're making this pit? This is good. It's an observatory in a way. Observing all of the our death, our deathly trap. To be honest. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, also, I've seen some people actually do build. Oh, not build. What's it? I've seen actually people do boulder traps before. I think we broke into a cave down here. What the? Yeah, we broke into a legit cave. Uh, but we don't want that. We're gonna... Do this. No one... We need no one to fall down there. We don't need that. Okay. We don't need a marigold here. Um, wait. This. As you guys can see, it, it's it's a pretty simple idea. It just takes a little a little bit of a little bit of work. But if you get this, any if you can lower anything down here that's like just too overpowered, then this is the way. And also too, one thing that we're all gonna fear once we get into the once we get into hard mode is when unicorns start spawning because I think they have a little over a thousand health and uh, they hit so hard they hit like a truck. So yeah. Look at that! Zombie fell down here. Now the flying mobs, we very well may not. We will probably not get them. They are flying. Like the demon eyes, and, you know. Probably will not get them. Spore zombie! That's pretty rare. See all that health? A lot of health. And that's not even. That, that has nothing on hard mode. Zombies. Or slimes. For that matter. Okay. I'm gonna flatten this out. You can also do this in hard mode if you really want. It's just more of a hassle, that's the thing. A lot more of a hassle. Um, let's do this. Kinda wanna force all mobs to get down there. That is the goal here. Hanging on the side, doing everyone falling down. Also, do I've seen people also put water on the side so that they can't kind of do anything. This is actually kind of expensive, depending on how, how much wire you need. I'm actually, do I need it like that? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think I'm just wasting wire. Let me cut this really quickly. Okay, let's, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make almost like a hub right here, so we can kind of see everything that's dying and what's happening. So, 
I will probably do a wee, uh, yeah, I'll do a, uh, do a, a little bit of a cut, probably, because this digging up to our house and making this look how it needs to look will take a little while, so I will see you guys till then. Okay, guys, we are back. As you can see, it's daytime, and let's see if this all works. Yep. Look at that, guys. However, it is a switch, and it's not a lever. So, actually, let's go ahead and actually buy a lever as well. We're gonna need one. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna need one. This is basically our trap area. We're gonna trap anything in there. Anything to bosses, to anything, really. And mainly, the pirate thing is gonna worry me the most, because they're gonna swarm us. Um... Now, where is... up there and I forgot them. Wait, actually I may have an wait, how much oh I have more than that. However, it is a switch and it's not a lever. So actually let's go ahead and actually buy a lever as well. We're gonna need one. Um yeah we're definitely gonna need one. This is basically our trap area. We're gonna trap anything in there. Anything to bosses to anything really. And mainly the pirate thing is gonna worry me the most because they're gonna swarm us. Um now where is She's up there and I forgot them. Wait, actually I may have an Wait, how much... Oh I have more than that. It's not like a gold or anything. If it was a gold, that'd be so overpriced. Shop. Lever. The reason why, everyone, I did leather, um, I feel like I just said leather. I meant lever. Is, um, because levers are like, levers work exactly how they work in Minecraft, in Redstone. How it will constantly keep doing it. So we got this keep spawning, we don't need to keep flipping the switch. Do that. And then boop. And now everyone. Boop. Should I begin? Good enough? Again? Do you have to keep switching it like that? I thought one one time I Hmm. I thought I got it to work last time. Wow. Um, you know what we should do? I have an idea. Let's make a switch inside for testing to see just how much damage it does to us. Because we... Let's switch to our best armor. Let's just see. If this can wreck us, we know it can kind of wreck the people. Um. Okay, everyone. Let's get ready. 50 damage. 32. So, it's doing actually pretty good damage now. Also, poison debuff. That's a long poison debuff. Wow. Um, another thing, too, though, is um, we... It could be better for this reason for this reason only. Um, we need to have banners there. We need to be doing extra damage. We need to be... Whatever we're hitting, we need it to go down quick. So, um... the eye. Trip clear. Um, definitely zombie. I can't grab it because my inventory is full. But we're gonna be just destroying anything down here. Actually, you know what we should do too? Oh snap! I'm dumb. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I definitely know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I know what we're gonna do. We're going to make a farm down here instead. Like, no, this will be a trap. But we're going to farm as well. Like, this is what I mean by that. Actually, you know what? Let me just make a workbench and make a door. Potion and pot. <laughs> Potion and pot. I think we just do it like that. I don't know if it needs to be at the base. If it does, we'll pull we'll Okay. Mimic did spawn! Great! Okay. Everyone in Mimic did spawn! Wait! Guys, let's see if we can farm stuff! Oh my god, can we farm stuff? Okay. 
Also, I'll be able to show off the Phoenix Blaster this way. Okay, let's do it. As you can see how much damage my gun is actually doing. Everybody. Doing absurd amounts of damage, guys. Absurd amount of damage. Heal. Oh, let's use our fire flower. Wait, oh yeah! Let's just do this. Yeah! He didn't drop anything. The bomb thing's working out. A thousand health, everyone! So they don't drop anything when they're spawned like this. Okay. Because if they did drop something, it would be money. At the least. So, okay. But now we know, guys. Now y'all know. Why I'm talk? Why I say hard mode is ridiculous? Look at that health. These guys are amazing though. They drop six stuff. Oof. Yeah. And then also, now interesting that the goblin doesn't spawn. I thought that would happen. Um. Wait, let me kill him real quick. Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna keep spawning like a butt ton of them and see what happens. Kill him. Kill him. Got him. Okay. It's just connected. Boom. Okay, everyone, get ready. A lot of them. We have three? How many do we have? Is there a limit on how many you can spawn? There very well may be a limit. I don't know how many you spawn. Actually, let's just... Look at that damage though, guys. Look at this damage. That's pretty crazy. You must Pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. I'm s yeah, the Hellwing bow. Kind of doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Okay, let's see. Sorry. Oh, I think we spawned like four or five. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Yeah. So I think guys with that, I think we uh, did kinda good. We have a pit where things could fall into. And we can just boop. Kill him. Oh god, we spawned too. But yeah, you guys get the idea. We just killed him though. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this um house building episode because we did need this so that we can at least trap our enemies if we can't take the deck because look at this health guys we cannot take this on going into hard mode like in the beginning we're not this pit may be our our, our thing their armor is just crazy i'll well, see you guys in the next episode and don't forget guys to be a hero